Hello guys, welcome to this course on Arc Basics. My name is Sijesh. This video we will see how if else statement works inside Arc. So we have a sample input file file1.txt. So this is an employee data like uh, the ID, first name, email, gender and mail. So our requirement is to uh, calculate the number of male employees and number of female employees from this list. So you can see uh, we have a, a field called male or female that is gender. So we are just uh, creating a awk file. So case1.awk inside that we are going to define our statement. So first thing we need to uh, have a begin part. So begin followed by a semicolon. So uh, sorry begin followed by a brace and begin and brace should be in the same line and we will do all the initialization here. So we are customizing input field separator to comma. So that is why we are writing fss0. Then using two variables male and female and initialized it to zero and closing that uh, begin part. Okay. So you can uh, uh, perfectly align this. So otherwise if you are uh, again, so you can keep it any order. And the next is your main block and uh, last we can have a end statement so we will write end then braces <coughs> so we will be doing our final printing here like uh, so like a number of uh, male employees okay uh, and uh, <coughs> comma that variable male and uh, we will also write the number of uh, female employees like <coughs> female employees then comma female and then we will uh, close that end, end part so we have a begin part and the, our main part we have to write our logic so i'm writing if part if then uh, let's uh, calculate the field number one two three and four it's a fourth field the fourth field is it can be either male or female so i'm using dollar for if that is equal to male then if that is equal to then I, I can use the again uh, opening and closing brace for this if part and inside that I am doing an increment for variable male then else so it's similar to the normal else part so I have to increment uh, the variable female so female plus plus <coughs> that's it okay so we have our main block and a begin and end block so let's uh, try to execute awk if f then uh, case one dot awk and then our input file so you can see it's a printing the male employees 44 female em employees 57 so let's uh, confirm this value so number of female employees like uh, file one dot txt grab a uh, female and use a wc iphone l so it will print the number okay so it's a uh, printing as 56 and uh, we are getting the count as 57 so we will see the input file once again uh, so this gap should not uh, okay see uh, mm, yes uh, people check okay dollar four is male else is female plus plus okay so we will uh, open the uh, input file so the reason is uh, we have a header in our input file so let's open the input file file1.txt so you can see uh, first we have the header so the header part is gender so in our if else part the if part will compare if the uh, this fourth field is male else it will increment so this first line will comes under else part so what we need to do either we have to uh, remove okay i have already removed that line that header line then uh, we will uh, just verify that using okay so the only the reason is in our input file we have a field uh, i mean the header one so or else we have to modify this if else logic so again if we, if we revisit here so the begin part we have some initialization so field separator is assigned to comma that is our input uh, fields are separated and we are using two variables male and female and if we look into the main part so it's a simple if else statement so if do the comparison then if that is matching 
so dollar four is equal to male then the variable male will be incremented else else means it can be anything so anything other than the male so that will be uh, incrementing the value female that is the reason so we have got one number extra the reason is the first line has uh, comes under this else part so this will process record by record and it will compare the fourth field and to do the increment for male or female okay so it will uh, repeat until it reach end of the record and finally all the records are processed the else part will uh, print so you can see like male and female might be incremented so based on number of occurrence and finally it will print like uh, the number of male employees and we have a variable here so that will print and also it will print number of female employees and whatever the value stored in the variable female will print okay so the begin part will execute it only once that is just before processing the text and end part will be executed at the end i hope this is very clear thank you for watching this video we will see in the next video bye